Hi, my name is Ricardo Kahn. I'm the director of Ruined by Lynn Nottage at the Unicorn Theater. Well, this is Ruined. It's by Lynn Nottage. It won the Pulitzer Prize uh, for Best Drama. Um, Lynn is a, a brilliant writer who has, in this play, been able to tackle the issues of, of uh, human suffering. Uh, we're not talking about suffering as a result of natural disasters, but the suffering that goes on as a result of how we treat each other. And specifically, we're in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and we are present day because what is going on is going on now and has been for a while as a result of tribal wars, as a result of civil wars, uh, the fighting for natural minerals that are, are uh, making a lot of people rich, but all on the backs of women, unfortunately, you know, where we should be uh, cherishing the, the woman's body, we instead are desecrating the woman's body by making them the battlegrounds for our wars. So a militia will pop up one day and be um, the, the rebel, uh, the rebels against the army, and the army has turned into rebels against them, and then others will pop up, and it keeps on going like that. There's a chaos in uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and unfortunately, there are people caught in the middle. This play is about the people who are caught in the middle, specifically these women who were brought in uh, to shelter by a woman named Mama Nadi, who is at the center of the play. And her hope is that while war goes on on the outside and, and while uh, suffering and abuses against women are going on on the outside, she is able to build walls to, in some way, in her way, uh, protect the women from all of that. Well, you know, there was a, an interesting thing that happened uh, in the in post-Katrina days where people were calling the, uh, the folks who lived in, uh, in New Orleans refugees who were, you know, had to flee their homes, but they weren't really refugees. They weren't fleeing their country. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, you have people, I mean, hundreds and hundreds fleeing all the time. Uh, as a result of these wars, fleeing from Rwanda and Uganda into um, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and fleeing from there uh, as a result of, of, of all of these wars, their own homes. These are refugees. It is a situation that happens every day right now. Uh, the abuses against women are happening right now. This is not history. And uh, how lucky we are to be able at the Unicorn to present this story which connects us here in Kansas City to the, the larger world, to issues that uh, we can no longer avoid. Well, we know that this play is about suffering, but it is, uh, it is ultimately about surviving. And we do all kinds of things to survive. We, we dance, we sing, we, we have uh, music that we play. We, uh, this music, for example, in this play is, is based on the sukus, which came from Africa, went to Cuba, and then came back uh, to this part of Africa. And we have two musicians in the show who bring that to life. We have singers in the plays. It, it, music is a very, very important part of this. So is humor, so is uh, poetry. And it is our way of, um, of uh, dealing with every day. And I think that everybody um, who deals with issues every day in their lives, who believes in music, who believes in ultimately in the poetry of life, will come here and enjoy this play because it is a story that we all need to appreciate. And there's a basic human uh, ingredient uh, that we all share. And that common understanding is something that we celebrate in ruin. So everybody's going to enjoy this, especially those who connect themselves with the larger world.